this concept was invented for our client baking steel and it is a radical improvement over traditional pop-ups. So what we did originally was we just like everyone else showed an exit intent pop-up for people that we were not able to convert on the product page. And this would appear as the user moved up on the screen. For the test, we came up with something a lot more subtle, but a lot more effective. So what we've done is we've woven into the conversation as we are telling the breeder the, our product story, we are nudging them or at least understanding if they are here in research mode or if they're here to buy. So you'll notice that there is a link over here. It says quick question. So it's a little prompt. And then as you go further in the story, you see there's a prompt here as well. It says, got a quick question for you. So we're reminding them more than once. But here's the thing, we actually have it on three instances. And the final instance is right at the bottom of the page. It says, want to know three baking steel secrets? Now, there are a lot of, in, there's a lot of intentionality to this. So let's first look at what actually happens when you interact with it. So when you interact with it, it says, what best describes your visit today? Now you have two options, research or buy. If someone is here to buy, we wanna get out of their way and let them and let them do what they're supposed to do. But if someone's in research mode, we change this copy and we say, we'd like to email three rather special details about baking steel. So it's a little bit of a teaser for people that we are confident that we won't be able to convert today because they need more time. And here we ask for their email address and it's a sign up box. When they sign up, we send them, we have a, a story that we are, a product story that we are sending them through email. What's really interesting about this idea though, is that if you remember, we had this prompt over here and then we also had a prompt lower on the page. The moment you interact with any one of the three instances, the everything else disappears. So that prompt over here has gone away. And if you look at the bottom of the page, the prompt has gone away. So this does two things for us. Number one is that because now we are weaving this into the conversation, it is 7x, 6.6x more effective than showing a pop-up, that's, that's one. But number two is that the annoyance factor is radically lower because the moment you interact with our call to action, we remove other nudges or references to that call to action. And we were very pleased with this outcome. 